Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says replace the three forces acting on the plate by a wrench. Specify the magnitude of the force and couple moment for the wrench and the point P, X, Y, where the wrench intersects the plate. Okay, this problem is a little bit time consuming, so let me try my best to explain it and bear with me. First step is always sum, find the sum of the forces, which is equal to very easy to find it is 400 in the i plus 200 in the j minus 300 in the k. You simply get it by adding, let me explain it here, sum of the forces is equal to fa plus fb plus fc. And that's how you find it. There's no, no nothing hard here. The next thing you need to do is find the magnitude of that force which is found by doing 400 square plus 200 square plus 300 square, all square rooted. And this is equal to 538.52 newtons, or newtons. So, then you need to find the moment of the wrench, and this is where it starts getting a little confusing. So what you need to understand is that to find the moment of the wrench, you, you need to understand that you have this point here, P. And then you have this vector that goes from A to P. You have this vector that goes from B to P. And you have this vector that goes from C to P. So R from A to P. And you need to do cross f of a plus r from b to p cross f of b plus r from c to p cross f of c. This is basically doing this vector times cross this forces and that gives you the moment of the wrench. Now I have to solve each of these cross products and that's what I'm going to be doing. So don't forget this formula. Write it down with highlighter on your paper or something because we're going to come back to it after a very long mess of matrices. So let's do the first one. R from A to P cross F of A is equal to I, J, K. R from A to P is x minus 3, y is it x minus 3. So from A to P, this distance right here is equal to x minus 3 because we're going in this direction. Now the second one, which is this vector right here, is y minus 5, which is given by this 5 and this y. And we're going, again, we're going towards a negative. And the last one is 0 because it's a plate, so we're assuming it's flat. And then for f of a, all we have is 400 in the i direction, 0 and 0. So let's solve this matrix. x minus 3, y minus 5, 400 and 0, x and y being the coordinates that we're trying to find, okay? <clears throat> so, positive diagonals, there's zeros in all of them, so it's 0. Negative diagonals, negative 400 times y minus 5 is minus 400y plus 2000. And this is in dk. And then there's 0 and 0. So this is our first matrix. Second matrix. R, B, B, cross F, B. I, J, 
Okay. Now from B to P, I'm gonna move a little a little faster, but basically we have this vector right here for the x, which is x minus three, and this vector for the y, which is well y. This is zero because again it's a plate. And then for FB, we know it's zero zero and it's negative three hundred in the K. Rewrite first and second column and solve matrix, which is positive diagonals, which is y times negative three hundred is minus three hundred y in the i, zero and zero. Negative diagonals is zero, zero, and we have another one here, which is plus 300x minus 900j. And this is our second matrix. Third matrix, RC, sorry, R, C, P, cross. F of C is equal to I, J, K. Now, from C to P is very easy one. It's X in the X, Y in the Y, zero, because it's neither going up nor down. And F of C is zero, 200 in the J, and zero. Rewrite first and second column. Unsolved matrix. Positive diagonals, we get a 200x in the k. Negative diagonals, they all have zero, so nothing. And we solve this matrix. And that is it for the first part. Second part. Now, we basically are going to add all of these together to get the vector MR. The Cartesian vector MR, let's call it. But we're going to get it expressed in terms of X and Y. So when you add these together, you should get that this is equal to a vector that is negative 300 Y in the I plus 300 X minus 900 in the J minus 400 y plus 2000 plus 200 x in the k. Okay, we came back to this formula that you highlighted and I'm gonna need to turn the page. So remember that formula that I, that I just wrote. Uh, sorry, let me put it here. So you can see it for a little longer. I know I just wrote it and put the next page because I have the notes in front of me. But basically, we're going to work with this formula to find x, y, and the magnitude of the moment. Hopefully you wrote it down. If not, pause the video and please do. And let's keep going. The second step that, that we need to find is we need to find the univector of the force, of the resultant force that we found at the beginning. So that is given by the force that we found at the beginning, f of r, divided by its magnitude, which is both values that we already have. The force is equal to 400 in the i plus 200 in the j minus 300 in the k. And we're going to divide this by 538.52, which is the magnitude of FR. And this is going to give us the univector that we need, which is 0.742i plus 0.371j minus 0.557k. Another formula that we need. Now, this is what you need to understand. MR is the magnitude of m, which is the moment that we're trying to find, times a univector. 
And remember what we wrote before. We wrote that MR is equal to this formula right here. So let me rewrite it here to have it on the same page, which is minus 300 in the Y, in the I, in the J is 300X minus 900, the J, and in the K is minus 400Y plus 2000 plus 200X in the K. This is in the K. This is in the J, and this is in the I. Now not look what I'm going to do here. This is the same as saying 0.742M in the I plus 0.371M in the J minus 0.557M in the K. Hopefully you already see where it's going. If you don't, it's okay. Basically we can write three equations and we have three variables. We have variable one is M, variable two is Y and variable three is X. So we have M, X and Y, we have three variables. So we need to write three equations to be able to solve the system of equations. And now with these two formulas here, we can write our three equations because the I's with the I's, since these are both MR, the J's with the J's, and the K's with the K's. We're going to write these three formulas. So, the first formula is in the I, which is equal to 0.742M is equal to minus 300 in the Y. That's one formula. Second formula is 0.371M is equal to 300x minus 900. Second formula. And our last formula is minus 0.557m is equal to minus 400y plus 200x plus 2000. Their formula. So notice we have one, two, three formulas, one, two, three variables. We're ready to do our math and basically uh, solve all, all of these equations. So take a good look and write them down because I'm going to turn the page, trying to be as tidy as I can here. And we're going to solve this. So formula number one can be rewritten as y is equal to minus 0.00. .00 247m. I'm doing basic math here. That's why I don't get into too much detail because there's various ways of doing this and you guys should know how to do this. However, I still want to show you how, how I usually do these problems. So now that we've written one, I'm going to plug this into equation number three. And now equation number three is going to look like this. 0.557m is equal to minus 400. Now instead of y, I write minus 0.00247m plus 200x plus 2000. Now I'm going to um, arrange this a little bit. This basically looks like this 557m. Uh, I multiply by 400 and I get. But I multiply by minus 400 and I get positive 0.989m plus 200x plus 2000. And cleaning it up a little more, I'm going to get minus 1.546m is equal to 200x plus 2000. Okay, I got a nice little formula right here, which looks a lot like our formula number two. So basically, I'm going to get formula number two, and I'm going to multiply by negative two over three, or actually, I'm going to multiply by negative 200 over 300 to make it a 
a little obvious of what I'm doing. That's an arrow, I swear it's an arrow. And when you get equation two and you multiply all the values by negative 200 over 300, you're gonna get something that looks like this. Minus 0.247m is equal to minus 200x plus 600. And notice that now the, the axis match the opposite of the axis in the equation above. So this is our modified equation two, and this is the equation three we got from solving equation one. Now, if we add both equations together, the 200s cancel out, and you get minus 1.793m is equal to 2600. Solve for m, minus 1450.1 newton meters. And we have m, our first variable out of the three. We get this m and we plug it into equation one, which is right here, or modified equation one. And you're gonna get that y is equal to 3.582 meters. Almost there. Then you can get m again, and you plug it into equation two, minus 537.99 is equal to 300x minus 900. Uh, let's solve this a little more, 362.01 is equal to 300x. x is equal to 1.21 meters. So, the x and y, point is equal to 1.206 or 1.21, this is actually 206, and 3.582 is in meters, that is the point for the x and y, and the magnitude of the moment is 1450.1 newton meters, and the resultant force is has a magnitude of 538.52 newtons. Final answer. And final answer, now that we found the point, yeah, the point's already on the graph.